Hi, it's Michael with Michael Beach Coaching and Consulting. We've been talking in a series of videos about firing clients. I know, I know, it sounds crazy. They're so hard to get, why would you ever fire one? Well, you would fire one when they're a jerk, when they're absolutely impossible to work with, when they call up and bully your employees, or worse, they bully you. I find that clients have to earn my respect the same way I have to work hard to earn their respect. When we have that good, trusting, respectful relationship, everything works great. When we don't, it doesn't seem to matter what I do, it's never quite good enough. Clients that bring me down, I wanna get rid of them. I wanna upgrade and replace them with someone better. So the first thing I do is I value the clients and figure out which of my clients are the most valuable and which of my clients are the least. And then if I have clients who are really getting in the way of our progress, we start to employ a strategy to figure out how to cut them from the client roster and replace them with a better client. Should you fire a client? Only in the cases I mentioned before where they've pushed you to the limit. A better way to terminate a client is to proactively announce that the service that we've been delivering for you over the last year or two is going to be discontinued in January. You give them fair notice that the work that you've been doing for them is no longer something your company is going to be doing and so you announce to them that uh, we're not going to be able to do that for you uh, in this future day. That usually will give them the idea that uh, you're headed in a new direction. A second approach that you can take is to raise the pricing for that customer and um, raise it a significant enough amount that they're going to find that to be a pretty bitter pill to swallow. Oftentimes when given a price increase a month or two in the future, clients will say, boy, I don't think I can afford that. And then you have to look your client in the eye and say, well, we've decided that that's what we're going to charge for this level of product or service in the future. And if that's not going to fit within your budget, we understand. Again, the client self-selects off of your client roster. You can also, a third idea, you can announce a strategic change of direction. You can just talk about how your company is going in a new direction and that new direction you know, might not include the services they've, they've been getting in the past or might involve pricing changes or any number of things. At the end of the day, um, removing a disruptive client from your roster is very doable and if you'd like some help with that, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be delighted to help you with it. I hope that was valuable for you. This is Michael with Michael Beach Coaching and Consulting where we pride ourselves on helping our clients to deliver ambitious results. See you next time.